Hello, hi, how are you today? I'm Patricia and I help people with their twin flame journey, ascension, relationships, making sense of it all, healings and much more. So in this video, what I wanna to talk to you about is self-love on the journey. Now, a lot of times people round the corner and they begin to feel love of the self and that they can now love themselves. Why is that? Because there's been a lightening of the load. It's like the yoke is off, the burden is off, and there's more to it than that. On a larger scale, these things are being claimed out of the collective, but on an individual scale, you still have a life to live. You're still an individual person inside a unified structure of your Twin flame, your higher self, the whole kit and caboodle, right? But how do you live your life and how does that self-love play out for you? Well, for some people, self-love can start with just speaking up for themselves. They may have been invalidated as a child and they may have had people, you know, it could be as simple as when, you know, you say something like, mom, I'm cold. Mom says, well, it's like 80 degrees out. You're not cold. Like, what are you doing? Like, no, you're not cold. And then you get confused and your mind gets befuddled and your emotions get submerged inside you until they come rushing out because it happens again and again when you're 30 years old at a family reunion and you decide to let your mother have it. That's some people. Maybe not how you handle things and I don't recommend it. But some people do because that is the self-love rising up in them. They begin to find their voice back. They begin to speak up for themselves, do things for themselves, break their codependencies. And it goes deeper than that, though. So in this season that we're going into, this is kind of a throwback time, but it's also a moving forward time. And that's one of the aspects of this retrograde is to push forward and push through and stop slogging through oatmeal to get where you need to go. So some of the things you should look forward to, and we're here to help you get to that place so you can have this be a part of your life. Self-love on your journey, a sense of fulfillment, a sense of a job well done, where you could say, well done. You got through that. You lifted the burden. We have removed that. We have gotten better. I love myself again. I can feel myself. Ah, that is really the key. When people begin feeling themselves, feeling their emotions, feeling their feelings, feeling their inner balance, feeling their own way of regulating that for themselves. And maybe it's not perfect because it's a work in progress, but the point is you're making progress in your journey and it is a process. It is a progress process. So to cooperate with your process and to have a sense of well-being, I highly recommend that you work on your light body. These are the results that my work, my modality brings. So you have a sense of contentment. What this means is you have reached a certain level. You've leveled up. You feel content with where you're at. And I mean a true sense of contentment, like that animal contentment, like you have a full tummy and you're like a cat, like licking themselves and just preening and you feel good about where you're at. That's normal. That is actually how it's supposed to be. That is a normal feeling. That is new normal. It's not second guessing yourself. It is feeling contentment and feeling a sense of self-satisfaction, feeling satisfied, feeling like you have enough, feeling like you can do this. You've done it. And frankly, a lot of people think, I don't need a twin flame. Why would I need a twin flame to mess this up? I'm content. I'm good. I've got it handled. Okay. Normal. That's a normal feeling. And as an individual, as a larger, the smaller part of the larger structure, you should feel that. If you're not feeling that, it's time to roll up your sleeves and come invest and get started with yourself. Invest 
and immerse yourself with what this is supposed to feel like. Contentment and not complacent with it either. A lot of people maybe like to rest on their laurels and be like, I don't have to lift a finger anymore. I, I don't have to do that. But when you're content, the universe can reach back to you and kind of provide you what's the next steps. What other doors are opening? What things would you explore? How can we serve you? And how can we roll out the red carpet for you? And there will be a peaking. And this is this energy has affected women a lot because this Venus retrograde, whoa, that's a doozy. Your house of homes, your house of houses, your house of money, your house of love. That's a lot of boxes to check. So a peaking of your divine feminine creativity. What is your version of your brand of creativity? How does that express itself? Doesn't have to be cooking. It doesn't have to be decorating cakes or painting. What are you creating? That is the real thing. What is your mission? What are you creating? Would you like to find out what your mission is? Would you like to really know how to dig this out from all of your experiences, your skill sets, your gifts? What is your creativity? The next thing you'll probably notice is communication. Sometimes this gets more what we call authentic, but that means people are being real. It also means that they're feeling safe with you to be vulnerable. But communication can reach new depths of intimacy, safety, and security where it's safe to be vulnerable or someone shares something with you. And it's okay. You don't feel like you have to put on your cape and you don't feel like you have to fix it for them. You, maybe you're just hearing them and maybe they just need to be heard. And this is a lot of what my work brings the result of, in fact, what I call it is true confessions. It's true confessions time. And exactly like the divine feminine or the divine masculine that you truly are, you receive it and you're not taking it on as an empath. You're not feeling any actions and yet you can hear this out. Okay. And a lot of people will find that this surprises them the depth of intimacy and in communications. And this can also be in love relationships where the breakthroughs that you've been expecting start coming, you know, where you feel like someone took down their wall. You didn't have to break through and break their wall. They took down their wall. How easy is that? Those things are the result of this work when you do the work. Emotional peaks now, there's times as we talk where, woo, woo, you know, there's peaks and valleys. She's up, she's down. I, he loves me, he loves me not. Or she loves me, she loves me not. She loves me, she loves me not. She love, does he love? Do they know? Am I loved? No, that's what the self love does. You don't need to go through that roller coaster of like, who's going to love me because now I need my self-worth. I can only feel it as it's reflected in. That is something that we've done when we've incarnated. We've seen the reflection of our self through the eyes of other people. And how do they perceive us? But what are they saying to us? What negativity have they directed at us? That doesn't matter. What matters is what we're exuding. We're propelling this. And when you start getting your love bubble surrounding you in the right place and you level up, that is a vibe that people detect. There are sides of them that they can detect it, but their minds don't know. So it starts bringing you to an emotional peak. You can have finer, refined emotions, like those poignant moments with people, those things, those Things where you say like, hang on, we're having a moment. And it could be anywhere. You could, that actually happened to me. We were in a bar setting and someone was like, okay, we're closing. And we were just like, we can't go. We're having a moment. You know, it was like a moment of deep intimacy and that person was not the one, but 
The moment was there and it was unmistakable. The next thing uh, besides emotional peaks is in order to do this, in order to create, in order to communicate, your energy has to return, but energy does return. Now, a lot of people are, they've been in the mode of fighting. They're fighting for their lives. They're surviving. They're moving. They're trying to get through stuff. They've been feeling this and what happens well, what happens is exhaustion. If you've been feeling tired for a while, that's normal, but your energy should return. If your energy is not returning and you're feeling fatigued, it's definitely time to work with us in a session because that is our specialty. We get you reconnected. We help you level up and we do coaching we have books, readings, and we have a class coming up. So please check the links below for the class to come up. So self-love is important on the journey, but that's not where you're ending because your other half, they have self-love too. And you could both be going through it and you could be like behind the curtain. You can't always detect it because you have to feel you. They have to feel them. That's important. And how you make them feel you is get your mood up, boost your energy up, feel joyful about some things, feel creative about some things. This is also how they get to know you, especially if you're in a separation. So I hope this helps you. And thanks so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, share the video, and have a great day. Bye.